Daddy's talking to himself again. Just a short video today, folks, to show you something very cool that someone made for me. My new respirator and a couple of workshop modifications I've made. Stay tuned to see what I've been up to. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, quite a quick video, um, but I just had to show you something that um, someone made for me. It's just fantastic. And it is this. It's uh, a water jet cut stencil of my logo. And it's just amazing. Really, really pleased with that. And uh, how this came about is, um, my friend Becky at work saw me uh, trying to cut out a stencil in my tea break um, using a scalpel and some um, plastic card and uh, she said my Todd can do that sort of thing in metal and her boyfriend Todd he works for a company called Redbox International or Redbox Engineering and uh, they're based near Southampton in a place called Totten, not far from me at all. In fact, I went to school in Totten. Um, but uh, Todd took my, the image of my logo and he very kindly cut this out and using CAD technology and the uh, water jet cutter. And it's just brilliant, really pleased with that, really, really pleased. It's almost too good to put spray paint on, really. Uh, I feel I want to hang it up. It's really, I'm so, so pleased with it. But uh, I'll put some links to Redbox's website. They do some really cool stuff. Yeah, you've got state-of-the-art technology. Uh, they're metal fabricators, and the stuff they do is just brilliant. They do, you know, state-of-the-art toolboxes, and uh, they even do um, precision-cut liners, foam liners that you can put any tool in, and they can uh, cut the shape out so that you've got a padded um, box for different tools and machinery and things. Well, they do lots of cool stuff. It's just uh, big boys, um, big boys' delight, really. Some of the stuff they do, but uh, yeah, it's. Um, really pleased with that but I'll, I shall be spraying my logo onto the new workbench thing I've made which I'll show you later in the video but yeah I mean I do you know people sort of probably think oh logo obsessed and things but uh, I am pleased with my logo I've put a lot of time into designing it and things but there is a more serious side to having our logos appearing in everything and that is uh, there's been a lot of theft of videos on YouTube. People just copying videos, setting up channels and publishing, uh, you know, my videos and other people's videos on their um, channels. They just steal them, you know, it's theft of intellectual property, uh, copyright issues. And uh, it's really annoying, you know, we put, it takes a lot of time and effort to make a video. And when someone steals it like that, it's infuriating. Um, you know, uh, YouTube do take them down, but it's a right palaver having to, to go, you know, to get it done, to get, you know, the videos taken down. If my logo appears in, you know, loads of shots in the video, it makes it very easy to identify my property, so to speak, you know, and it helps, um, YouTube, uh, see that it's mine and, uh, and it discourages people from stealing these videos and uh, so that's that's the more serious side to you know why we see logos appearing everywhere i think people like branding too but uh, anyway thank you very much todd and red red box international really pleased with that absolutely thrilled with that but as i say i'll put a link to their website and contact details and i'll put a few pictures up of uh, of how it was cut um, but this uh, water jet cutting is just incredible the accuracy is outstanding and that they they can get um, they can cut this out to incredible accuracy 
and it's uh, environmentally friendly as well compared with other techniques there's no vapor produced or anything like that um, so you know it's really cool but they can do all sorts of amazing things there we go thanks again Todd and Becky and uh, yeah anyway I'll show you some a couple of little modifications I've done in my workshop and we'll see if we can use the stencil and spoil this lovely shiny metal with some paint one other thing I just wanted to um, share with you uh, as you're probably aware, my last video, I felt rather poorly um, after using some uh, pigment powder, and uh, and it got me to thinking about safety. I'm very safety conscious, but I've purchased one of these, which is the uh, JSP. There you go, Power Cap Active, and it's the impact protection version. And it's uh, lithium battery powered, um, well, helmet really, so, uh, and visor. And uh, it's really good, really pleased with it. Um, it's very, very comfortable. Um, the filters on this are actually not quite as high rated as the ones I was using on my. Um, half mask respirator but because it works in a different way and it works by keeping a positive pressure inside the mask it doesn't rely on having a perfect seal to work it's constantly pumping air out through any gaps so keeping the dust out so although it may not get rid of as many of the very 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 tiny particles um, I think overall it probably gives you more protection because those half masks do rely on it forming a good seal and if you're like me and screw your face up and you're concentrating dust does get by and you can see where dust gets by sometimes so I think in actual fact this is probably a bit more efficient plus it's all in one I don't have to wear a visor as well and uh, it's a lot cooler um, you know I'm a big bloke I get hot and uh, this is a lot nicer to work in my face is actually cool while I'm working and quite often I do get over hot while I'm working so very pleased with that I've been using that the past couple of days I've had a couple of days off I've been reorganizing my workshop again putting new shelves up and uh, just sorting out plugs and things and uh, yeah it's been really good really really good but yeah, I could recommend that highly. I ordered that from um, the tool post uh, here in the UK. But uh, yeah, very efficient service. If, like me, you've got limited workshop space, then you'll know that a lathe can take up a lot of space in it. And there are times when I need a little bit more workbench space. So what I've done is I've made this top to go on my lathe which I know a lot of people do uh, and it's positioned so that it fits against the wall at the back and I've put a support along the wall and it's held in place by these 10 millimeter bolts with wing nuts and washers holding them and uh, I shall show you how it works And there's the batten and uh, these are the 10 millimeter bolts and I've recessed the nuts and washers into the wood so that the board sits flush and that's perfectly level with the beds of the lathe it's slightly offset because I wanted to uh, space this end for the um, banjo and the chuck uh, so that that wasn't getting in the way tail stock I've put on my custom made tail stock stand at the end but it's very simple really and uh, there's the, the holes in the back of the board and if I show you the back the underside there's some non-slip mat that's been uh, glued onto the uh, the underside of the board just to protect, protect the um, lathe beds when it's resting on there 
but this is easily stowed behind the lathe. Another thing I've done recently is built a light to go over my uh, sanding machine. So I made this little shelf bracket arrangement on the top. So I'm just storing my mitre fence and there's my crepe rubber belt cleaner. But I've created this swing out arm with a cheap B&Q LED security light on it. And uh, that now sits right over the uh, sanding machine so I can see exactly what I'm doing. It's a bit awkward this end of the garage because I've got the garage door above me so I can't have a strip light up here or anything else. So this works quite nicely. I'll just uh, switch it on. That's it. It's very bright. And you can angle it. But it's a very, very bright light. It's perfect for when uh, when I'm sanding on here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. And thank you very much to Todd and Red Box for my lovely stencil. Really pleased with that. And uh, it's just a few shots of the water jet in action. And uh, I'll be back soon with some more creative videos. Thank you very much to all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. And uh, I really appreciate all the lovely comments. I'll put some links to Redbox's website and to the Toolpost's website in the de video description. Thanks again for watching. More videos coming soon.